Winston Kovac. This is my 1965 Ford Mustang. It's kind of a unique car. It's a 39,000 mile documented car. It's been preserved very well. Original interior. And it's got a lot of uh, eye appeal to it. Big picture. We're really high on Justin as a customer. He's shown tremendous talent in bringing good cars. He's shown tremendous maturity. I have two other Mustangs here for sale. They're both red 66 convertibles. I decided to bring three red Mustangs to Dallas because it's uh, Mustang territory from what I've heard and what I've seen. Dallas is just a great market for that first generation Mustang. Everybody, uh, even if you're not a hobbyist or into collector cars, recognizes those early Mustangs. I'm definitely looking to go three for three. I don't want to bring anything home unless it's some new merchandise. There's a 65 Mustang, it's $32,500. If it gets somewhere in the mid to high 20s, I think I'll let it go. Yeah, I think she gets in the high 20s. I think I'll probably do it, huh? Yeah, we'll work on it. Pretty dark. Nice, thank you. I was kind of keeping an eye on uh, who was checking them out, and it wasn't very many people uh, devouring my cars, so I got a little bit nervous at first. That's in the back of my head, but I know I brought some decent cars. The red Mustang convertibles and one really nice hardtop, so pretty good cars to bring. 65 Mustang, 289, 39,000 miles, rotisserie restoration with vintage air and power steering. Very high, man, you're making about 10. 10 to the big 12, 15. 20. Now 21. Being extra on my car was pretty strong. I thought it was going to be. It's a really nice uh, rotisserie restored car. Quality oh, always brings money. The people want that car. They're going to be there to be on it. Back 25, you make it 26, 27. 27, When you bring multiple cars to an auction, it's very important for you to get a good start and get your first car sold. It sets up your whole auction to get a good price for your first cars. It is always important. It's going to be the same deal. It's got to get the highest one. Stroker motor, trumpet exhaust. You know, the nice thing about Justin is he's really stepped up his game. It's gratifying to see young people like Justin, not only with the knowledge of vintage cars, but with the enthusiasm and the ability to pick the right cars and bring them to sell. The 66 Mustang convertible with the 330 horsepower, C4 automatic, power steering, power brakes, power top. So we get 40,000 dollars, baby, we get 40, baby, we get 40, we get 10, 12, 10, baby, we get 12, 15, 15, 17, 17, 20, 25, baby, we get 5, we get 5, we get 25, 3, 1, 10, you get 4, 23, 24, 23, 24, reserve is 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, I think I picked the right time to do that because the momentum started to carry it up a little bit. It went up a few thousand dollars more, so I picked a good time to pull it. When the car sold, I felt relieved. Uh, it was nice to get the, the second one to sell. At that point, I had one more to go, and just kind of keeping my fingers crossed for the last one. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. One more red one. We're two for two for Justin now. We're happy he's having a good auction. Uh, we still got one car left, so uh, I will see him up on the block here real quick again.
and we missed on selling it to be able to average and take a winner and take a loss and be satisfied with the whole thing. That shows maturity. My hopes for the buyer are, I heard that he's uh, just retired, which is really cool, and this was his uh, present to himself, so I'm happy for him. He got a great car. It's an investment great car, and I, I think he'll be more than happy when he drives it. The next one is the glove box, too.